Good morning. If an important ruler or leader of a nation needed to travel somewhere, how would they get there? What would they travel on? Would a ruler travel on this? Yes. Or would a ruler travel on this? No. Would a ruler travel on this? Yes. Or could a ruler even travel on this? Not likely. Or would a ruler travel on this? Yes. Would a ruler travel on this? No. There's something which the greatest ruler of all traveled on. Do you know what it was? Yes, a donkey. From nearly 2,000 years ago, Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey, with people putting their cloaks down to make a path for him, and others waving palm branches to welcome him crying, Hosanna, meaning that they were greeting him as the king who would save them. Hosanna was originally a call for help by people appealing to God, but came to mean thank you for rescuing or saving us. As it says in Mark 11, verse 9, those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. But why did Jesus ride into Jerusalem on a donkey? Historically, rulers in that part of the world rode on horses if they were going to war, but donkeys if they came in peace. For example, Solomon rode a donkey to his coronation when he became king of Israel. This was more than 900 years before Jesus and is just one of the different historical examples. Some were not happy with Jesus riding into Jerusalem on a donkey. They wanted a king who would ride in on a mighty war horse to defeat the Romans and free Israel. But what Jesus brought them, and what he brings us today, is something unique and infinitely more valuable. Do you know what it is? It's peace. And that is something which is particularly needed at this present time of crisis in the world. Peace between nations, yes, but also a peace with God that passes all understanding. Are you worried? Many people are at the moment. This Jesus who rode into Jerusalem is the same Jesus who is with us now. He is right here, right with us in the rooms where you are watching this. He is right here, just as he was with us when we were in the church building. And he is still the same Jesus who came as our Savior and as the Prince of Peace. The crowd put their cloaks down and waved branches and shouted, Hosanna! But what are we going to do? They were calling him their king. Are we going to do the same? Some of you will have been clapping at 8 p.m. on Thursdays, which is right and good to show our appreciation for those who have been so helpful. But let's not forget to show our appreciation for the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, for Jesus, who rode humbly into Jerusalem on a donkey. Are we going to cry out? Are we going to, in our own home, shout Hosanna? Let's do that. Shout Hosanna! 
and again. So whenever you are feeling worried this week, remember that we have a king who came to bring us a peace that is greater than any other for all who trust in him. The crowd shouted, Hosanna, welcoming our savior, our rescuer. What are we going to do? Are we going to do the same? We're now going to sing about that peace which Jesus brings us in Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. <laughs> 